in here. I'm at a Shell Recharge Station in East Hampton, Connecticut. Now these are free at the Stop and Shop. Now Volta used to own these, but it, Shell recently took them over and they've been broken more than not. But they're finally working and I'm getting a nice nine kilowatts. Now I just got back from a five day trip and I left the car at the airport with Sentry Mode on for five whole days. And let's see what the hardware for Model 3 Highland Performance uses for Sentry Mode. So Tesla recently upgraded the app and vehicle software so that you can remotely view Sentry Mode clips. And this works great. It's super quick. It connects to the vehicle, downloads the clip, and you can see it from multiple angles. The week I was gone, it may have been raining or snowing a little bit because I'm seeing a lot of false triggers. So when I parked the car at the airport, I was at 86% state of charge. And I, when I returned, I was at 44. So that's 42% battery used in five days, quite a bit. If I look at Tesla Lab, it says I used 133 miles of idle range. So there you can see why you don't wanna leave sentry mode on at home or when you're in a secured area. But when you're out and about, sentry mode's great for recording people near your car. There you go, so there's the consumption for sentry mode. It's not great, but if you turn it off, the battery drain is gonna be super minimal, but then you won't have any records of incidents that occurred while you're gone. Now, Tesla has said that they've improved the efficiency of sentry mode. I don't know from these results. And if you are considering buying a Tesla, use my referral code below to save big money on that purchase. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla Rivian Wi-Fi and tech products.